My name is Sorin Chilo Funder. I'm from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, I'm exhibiting my piece at the uh, Free Copenhagen Contemporary Art Center. I think that the work style paradise mixes um, the use of fiction and 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 the use of documentary or real or, or, or real uh, life uh, in a way that is is that I normally use in my practice or. Um, and I think the way that it links the ritual of cinema with the ritual of society is for me something that I work with in most of my works. And especially in Cell Paradise, I think that the development of the story and, and, and the fictional narrative sort of mirrors the, the whole investigation in Mexico City as a society, but also in, in the whole idea of mega city and community and, and, and the rituals of, of relating to society. I think my work with fiction and documentary uh, or with things that are cinematically produced and others that are somehow injections of reality into the narrative is an attempt to create some sort of a counter-memory an idea that the fictional can can make the real into fiction and, and again the real can make the fiction into something real and that this meaning of the two can create a counter memory and a question towards what is real and what is fiction and who gets to decide what is history, real history, what is fictional history, what is a lie and what is not a lie. I think there are several communities in South Paradise that are that are are, are problematized or are described. Um, one is 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 the idea of a commune, uh, Los Arcones, which was uh, developed in 1973 and now has been existing for 40 years and it grew three generations. And what kind of changes happens to a community uh, with time and, and if it doesn't expand and so on. Another community is, is the community Cell Paradise is traveling through, which is the Mega City um, and, this, and the problem of being a citizen um, and, and, and how to deal with being in a society. Um, and the third one is, 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 is relating to, to, the, to the massacre in 1968 at Plaza de Tres Culturas um, where there's a whole different story. What is a collective memory? What is a collective history? What is the community of a, a people telling their story? And, and, and around that event in 1968, there are so many lies and so many collective uh, understandings of how much a lie there is. And, and, and so there's a very big question of what is a community um, what official history says or what the people's history says. I think there's one, one paradox that is underlying the whole work of South Paradise is definitely an, an idea of, of collectivity versus connectivity um, and if possible um, the presence of both at the same time. And I, and I think it, for me it's, it is a very interesting question what what to be done when the social becomes over social, when the communal becomes uh, connections and network. And I think, I don't think it's, it's particularly outspoken in the work, but for me in my investigations uh, and, and in my development of the piece, this question was underlying it all the time. How can you have a commune in the desert of Mexico and also have iPad to in the same commune, like how can the how how can these two things mix, and what happens to those things, um, and 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 when does one become something else, um, and when do we still think that we're still in a, in a communal um, sphere, and actually we are very much alone in a connected sphere.